Uh, hey everybody, Ron Amadio here from Ars Technica, and we are looking at LG's latest flagship. This is the LG G6, which is going to be announced at Mobile World Congress. It's basically what we were expecting from rumors, so you get a super tall 18 by 9 screen and uh, really slim bezels. And it looks really nice, I mean, compared to a, a 16.9 phone with gigantic bezels, like the Google Pixel here. You can see you get a, a bigger screen and a smaller package and it's actually thinner than a normal phone too by, by a teeny tiny bit, uh, which makes it feel great when you're holding it. Like it's, it's slim enough that you can, you know, wrap, wrap your hand around it and really have a, a decent grip. This is the first, the first non-Google device with a uh, Google Assistant on it. So you, just like on a, a Pixel, you can hold down the home button and get Google's new voice command system. You can ask it questions and uh, it should support the always on hot word. I'm gonna assume, yes it does, anytime, even if the screen is off. Yeah, so you get always on, okay Google, de Google detection, uh, which is pretty cool. The back is a bit of a surprise. This is glass, not metal. According to LG, this is Gorilla Glass 5. They said, I think it feels, it doesn't quite feel like the front of a phone. Like it's kind of rubbery and, and grippy, I'd say. Uh, it certainly doesn't feel like glass. Collects fingerprints pretty well too. <laughs> Again, LG has uh, a regular and wide angle camera lens on the back. And uh, this is your power button slash fingerprint reader. USB type C port and a single speaker. And uh, still got a headphone jack, which is nice. There's a, micro SD card in here. All of LG's modular stuff is gone, so you have a, a permanently fixed battery that you can't remove. The plus side is that it's waterproof. They brought a working shower, and we can kind of get it in here. Oh yeah, that's good. Get it, get it right in the USB port. And look, it, it still works. Technology, it's amazing. Oh, it's pressing buttons. We're going crazy, okay. It still works. Internally, so really weird, this has a Snapdragon 821 processor in it. Now, Qualcomm's 2017 chip is the Snapdragon 835, uh, which we're gonna see in devices at Mobile World Congress, and the Galaxy S8 is gonna have a Snapdragon 835. So in about a month, this phone is going to be pretty obsolete in terms of, of processing power. LG hasn't talked about a price yet, uh, but it's gonna be a really big deal uh, to see how much this is gonna cost, because while well, it does look nice and I, I really like the design, you'd be able to get way more power from other manufacturers in just a few more weeks. All right, so we've got a heat pipe that connects to what I'm gonna guess is the processor, right, which is under here. And the battery that LG says won't explode. And the USB port is a separate board. iFixit always likes that, so you can rip it out and replace it if you break it. Micro SD card, SIM slot. The device is really nice. I love the, the little rounded corners here and kind of the slim profile and the big screen. But without knowing the price, it's hard to say whether this is gonna be great or not a super good value or what.